Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode. I just came back to the save crystal. I think I said hello very loudly there. There again is the end of the level taunting us. Uh, just came back to the save crystal. It's not actually that far away from where we got to. This, uh, this floor's pretty good because you're just opening a lot of routes back to areas that allow you to get to that crystal quite easily. I'm also checking around here because I don't know why I have a, a sneaking suspicion I missed a secret here. I feel like there were four secrets here for some reason, not three. Uh, but I, th I think we're okay. I think we do have all of them. Um, so we'll just ignore that. Yeah, here, as you can see, this is the puzzle that we had before already, and that's the iron door. That's where the previous episode ended. I also just had a thought that it might be cool to tag, um, like, different notes on where the episodes end. I don't know. That might be kind of cool. It might be kind of lame. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to progress forward. Of course, that's down off on the left. I have noticed that I didn't quite fully map out this maze, though, so I just would like to do that. Uh, I like these little cave-ins as well here, by the way, like that. They're pretty awesome, because, to me anyway, because they kind of explain how all these creepy crawlies are getting around here. What I think would have been a really cool detail as well, obviously we're high up in a mountain at the moment. I think if the game had started off by giving you like um, cold type enemies, icy enemies, uh, enemies with thick uh, coats of fur and so forth, that would have been a really interesting way to have kind of conveyed to us that we're, you know, we're high up, there's low pressure. Um, that would have been quite awesome, I think, but uh, they didn't do that. For some reason, doing the secret for the iron door, closed the door forward. No idea what's going on there. We're going to take that off, though. We're going to keep a spare torch with us. Let's go and close that, but let us go forward. Now, we got some nasty business coming up. I'm hoping this episode I can go... So, oh, see, you guys are lucky. I've got to do a lot of effort for something, and I'm just going to be able to cut it all out for you. Uh, but what have we got here? We do have spiders, I warn you, straight away. I'm going to use like my poison cloud to kill them. First of all, I'm going to cut through this, which you might want to do, and I'll explain why later. But here, look, it's a dead end. What's going on there? Um, so there's nothing much that it seems we can do. Now, what we're going to do is press this button here, and then we're going to press this button here. And what's that? what that's going to do is open uh, a gate somewhere, and it's also going to open this wall. Now, first, when we open the wall, it's going to release a spider. So we're going to kill that spider first. There he is. Hello. Let's kill him. Oh, Chaos is hungry. Yeah, we need to eat as well. I haven't eaten yet on this floor. I think the less you have to rest as well, the um, kind of less you have to eat too, which can help with your food woes later on. I'm just guessing. I can't remember 100% what it's like lower down. Uh, we've also got levels up as well. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we have to deal with this, guys. Okay, um, let's go with more dodge. She needs more evade, I think, at this point. I've been neglecting that. For Chaos, let's get more into the old axes, give him some more health, and we'll get Chop soon too, Chop's quite nice. We're also going to go with Arachnia, there we go, right, we're going to go an extra bunch into Earth Magic. So now by doing that in Earth Magic, we've unlocked two more spells, I don't actually know what one of those spells are. So uh, two more spells though, that means we now have Poison Cloud, we have, this is going to be a massive waste of mana, but hey, <laughs> we have Poison Bolt. And now we have what I described earlier as being so essential for this floor and the next one. Poison shield. Can you see this nice green outline around us? It might make us look ill, but in fact, it makes us badass. It means that we're going to be nice and safe and wonderful and happy. All my torches are nearly going to go out. I need to start replacing them in braziers. So anyway, now that that door's open, um, what we can do is press this button here. Because what that's going to do is it's going to open this gate on a time limit. And without finding that hidden switch, we wouldn't be able to get around there quick enough. Because you'd have to go like all around all this mess and it just doesn't work. So we're going to do that. And then as quickly as possible, as with any time puzzle, they never give you much time in this game, which is quite good. It's going to lock, lock us in here with these bastards. You have no where to run here, so make sure you've got your poison shield up and beat the living shit out of all of them. Seriously, just just beat them up. Arachne is out of energy. Typical. As you can see, nobody's getting poisoned, which is great. Like poison is a very common occurrence. Like it's very common. Uh, so we've got two spiders there dealt with. Uh, we're in another like another kind of maze-ish area here now. And the game starts throwing spiders at you left, right, and center. Like, you'll have no way of knowing where they're really coming from unless you know it quite well. Which, hey, hello, hello, me, I know, I know, I know it quite well. Uh, so you can press that button to open that. Back to the way we came, and we can progress a little bit further. Ah, uh, there you are, there you are, there you are. Ah, oh, yes, hit him right around the corner. 
Oh, uh, why you got to be out of energy, right? Yeah. What I don't like is that it seems to take energy away from you even when you're out of energy and you don't get the full effectiveness of the spell. Again, it's quite punishing game design there, but at the same time, it, it stops you being mindless while playing. You know, it, it really engages you. This game engages you like quite a lot. I'll give it that. Um, and then when you are, when you are, do have to be so attentive to it, it's even worse because of like the just horrible things that can sneak out at you and the big monsters and how ambient it can be as well. Anyway, uh, in that little room, hello. In that little room, we picked up a crag beetle. I can't quite remember what they do. I think they just like quickly cure poison or something or give you a bit more resistance to it. Do I have the energy to cast another spell? No, I don't. So our poison resistance has run out. Chaos has lost his poison resistance. Um, he's poisoned himself. Luckily, we pre-prepared some anti-venom. Delicious. Uh, we can also rustle him up a health potion. See, where I always say this in my own head, like bread, it makes me think of this as like a really kind of carb-filled, nutritious, filling, loving meal of a potion. And I, maybe that's just because I'm quite hungry today and I've not had much to eat yet, but yeah. Uh, okay, Liss has also leveled up. Yeah, this is where we go four more into assassination. That means double damage when attacking enemies from behind. If we can sh snipe people basically now, which is quite nice if they haven't seen us. Very cool. Let me just be 100% sure I haven't missed a hidden switch in this room. No, I don't think I have. Okay, fantastic. Right. Uh, we came from there on the left, so we want to go down here on the right. Gloves. Chaos. Yes, finally. Swap, please. Swapsies! Ah, oh, I love it. I actually kind of like the warm lighting from a, a dim torch in this game. Oh, closed door. No, this is the closed door that's not actually bad, isn't it? Is it? Is this a closed door that's not bad? Let's enchant ourselves. Okay, no. What? What's the point in that door? I don't understand. It just brings us around to where we already were. Ugh. There's secrets and stuff that are going to start opening up here when we reach a certain point. We're about to get another message from our... Oh, there you are. I will never be comfortable with spiders jumping out at me. Never. Have you noticed how there is literally nothing else to fight? Do you remember ages ago, back at the start of this floor, we had the skeleton with the bow and arrow? Like, those are a staple enemy in the, in the game. Um, but for some reason, like, they throw it at you right at the start. They throw even one of those fungus things, and if you drop down some of the right holes, you'll find some snails. Uh, but then the, the rest of the dungeon is just, yes, this is spider territory, and they make sure you know it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, see, this is the thing. I don't know whether the poison spe uh, resistance runs out after a certain amount of hits, or a certain amount of just passes, or like turns, or, or what, but it's kind of irritating that it doesn't last a little bit longer. I haven't fully inspected the the earth magic tree. It might actually like you might be able to spec for it to last longer later, or there might be equipment. I really don't remember. It's just enough to get you through, though. What is clear to me is that Arachnia needs more willpower. I'll say that. What's down here? Another door. Okay, right. That's kind of the last section. We don't want to go down that door. Trust me, we don't. That's the last section. And in my test play, it's right near the end of the floor, past that door. And in my test play, I um. I uh, I died in there, like, horrifically died, because it's full of spiders. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? <sighs> but we don't have to do that for a while, because we've got a whole bunch of secrets now. First, nice new shield. Lovely. Goes on to um, Natalie. She gets an extra two evasion out of that. Brilliant. And here we get a note. And this note's horrible, because you have to take time to read it. I'll have to watch my back more carefully. The spiders are everywhere. Right. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is this written by Torma? I think it probably was written by Torma. That means that previously, somewhere in the maze before us, spiders have just been released into the dungeon. And we're going to have to hunt them down. Because if you then go into that last section of the of uh, the, the dungeon now, and back out, because that's also an infested area full of spiders, they will punish you when you try and rest. Because you think you're safe, and then one of these little things sneaks up on you. Um, what's very clever here, uh, so that wasn't bad, but what's very cl clever about the area here is this is like a maze with tons of twists and turns that don't seem to be used for anything, and then you find out it's because any of these could be hiding a damn spider. Like, and it's, it, it, it's creepy as shit. When you know how this works, 
it's opened a door that's released two spiders. Now, one of them gives you a gold key as well, which gives you one of the better secrets. In the, well, not better secrets. It gives you one of the secrets on this floor. So it's always good to go back and hunt them for that gold key too. And Natalie's hungry. Let's give her some bread. Nom, 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 nom. You know, I think I'm just going to pretend that Natalie got married. Like, she married into the Baradin line. Which, actually, hold on. Is the Baradin line dead? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about Guildhall's Law here. Okay. We've got another spider. Just enough energy to enchant ourselves. We did shoot him, but we missed. I noticed that there's an arrow on the floor there already. Do you, are you guys, can you guys see a little bit as well about how beneficial it is to have a character or two characters that will never miss? Like, that's why, in particular, missile weapons are good for backline characters, because they can spec really high into the strength, as far as I can see, to do lots of damage, and they're never missing. These guys at the front will miss with their typical kind of melee crap that they have to deal with. Right, anyway, so we got these two arrows there. We've got the gold tick key. I think there might be another spider kicking about somewhere. Maybe. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. Now, if you look on the map up here, this little bit of wall, this is probably hard to see on YouTube, but that little bit of wall up there is suddenly not filled in. That's because that's where these spiders came from. I, I can't remember if this game does have like a random encounter type system where it does like just start respawning enemies basically that were on previous floors. I think it does eventually, but that's not what we're seeing in, in practice here, even though the game's now got your back up. The game's kind of, I'm ruining it for you guys, but the game's kind of now told you to be aware. Like you don't, you, you've got this far and begun to understand, oh shit, right, I, Ah, oh, I did it again. I did it again. I just accidentally minimized the window and it crashed the game and now uh, I don't know where the last place I saved was. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Hello everybody. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. For you it's been one second. For me it's been getting all the way back here. I've just come back from the save crystal because um, the, the spiders in here. I don't know how I had such an... I'm glad I had such an easy time on the camera because Jesus Christ they just kept sneaking up on me there were so many i think i had missed a spider before when we were filming because there was definitely three that were released anyway this is the room i forget completely what i was saying as well you know all that time ago so <laughs> whatever it was hopefully you got the gist of what i was trying to say Anyway, yeah, we've got that, that future area to go forward. There was a change I wanted to make. Um, if you've been wondering why I haven't been doing the bomb thing that I described before on Arachnia, um, where I use bombs when she runs out of magic. Uh, two reasons. One, I didn't want to run out of them too quickly. And two, um, I've got no one else to have a torch on. Uh, but I think Chaos could probably have the torch for now because he doesn't have high evasion anyway. Look, he's already on minus 10. So I think that just means he's never going to evade. <laughs> so even with the shield he'd be only on minus five so he can have the torch that's fine um, and then Arachnia can then of course have the bombs now then um, this was the secret that we just got because we opened up the door that released the spiders there is no random encounters the spiders just came out there's another secret tied onto this this floor does it a lot see how there's this switch here we can press this and open up this room here and if we have a little look but there's a doorway, there's a stairway, sorry, doorway, <laughs> there's a stairway going down. Now this isn't the way to the next floor, the, the proper way to the next floor. We've already seen that, remember? That's by the save crystal where you, it taunts you by looking across uh, the pits of doom. But there's this area here too. We are now in the archives. Beyond the pillars of light, interesting. So what have we got? We've got a closed door here. We've got this that says, feed me. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we already kind of saw something like this before where we had to fill in the eyes. Feed me would seem like we have to put something in his mouth, right? It goes without saying. Uh, yeah. This is, um, this is the second treasure in the game. I said before that they're not always super well hidden. This is reasonably well hidden because it's on the back of another secret. But really, they just you have to put a lot of effort into them. And this is why. This is the second secret, the second treasure big ass room filled with these blob things and you barely see these in the game uh, they will attack you through the gates here we can't attack them through the gates they will attack you through the gates which is wonderful of them and this room is full of them like absolutely squirming and it's a maze so if you get caught like if this guy comes out he can catch us out and then what do you know we're stuck um, very dangerous room very difficult can you see all the damage that Arachne has taken she was on full health just now um, very dangerous, and these guys inflict a new condition on us, which I'm sure you guys will see soon enough. Look what this damage he's doing to Natalie. Come on, hit Chaos instead. Um, these guys inflict disease on you. Uh, poison slowly ticks your health out as you go along. Ah, oh, Natalie, how have you died? I know I'm not 
dodging. Uh, I probably should have been. Oh, no. I'm not having an easy time with this. Nobody can hit him anymore. If Chaos is... Oh, thank God Chaos killed him. Um, wow, they didn't even disease me. That's crazy. So they do a lot of damage. They can attack you through the grates. And they will disease you. Disease you doesn't take your health down. But it does mean... It's like you're hungry. You won't heal at all. So even when you're resting, you won't heal anymore. Very, very frustrating. Very difficult to deal with. You can only wait it off, basically. Kind of frustrating. There's no potion either. Well, there is a potion, but we haven't learned about it yet, so I'm not going to use it yet. There, there's no potion, I believe, um, that can cure the disease. And even then, I think it's only a hunch of what I'm talking about. Anyway, Natalie's dead. I'm going to cut it till she's alive, and we'll progress further in the room. There's going to be a lot of cutting here, though, just for the record. Um, it's a big room. I don't want you guys to have to suffer through me killing all of them, because they take a long time. I have to take it very slowly. I have to back out of that corridor every time. And yeah. Oh, well, guys, I was really desperate to have this as just three episodes, but this last one would have been 30 minutes. I thought 25 minutes for episode two of this floor was just way too much anyway. So I am going to call it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for clearing out this room and the last part of uh, the floor. So thanks again, and yeah, have a, have a good evening, guys, or day or afternoon or whatever the hell time it is for you right now.